Today, I'll be sharing how to crochet the feather stitch, the traditional way, and in the round. Grab your crochet supplies and let's get started. You'll need a medium weight yarn. The one I'm using today is Cotton by Sugar and Cream and a five to a five and a half millimeter hook. I'm using a five and a half today. Let's start with the traditional method. Some of the techniques we'll be using today are half double crochet stitch, slip stitch, and then feather stitch. So if you are new to crochet, I would recommend you check out my beginner crochet playlist before diving into a more intricate design like this one. To begin, we'll start with a foundation row of half double crochet. I like to do foundation half double crochet stitches for this, but you can also do a traditional chain and half double crochet across. Uh, you'll wanna do multiples of two plus one. So I have 13 stitches total here, and that will make a square about this size. If you wanna do larger, then you would do multiples of two and then add one additional half double crochet. So once I have my first row of half double crochet here, I will chain one, turn my work, and now I'm ready to do my prep row. I like to call this a prep row because we're not quite ready to do feather stitch yet. You have to do the prep row in order to be able to do it properly. So to do that, we're going to half double crochet in the first stitch, the same one where the chain is. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the next stitch and repeat chain one skip one half double crochet in the next one and we'll do this all the way across done my last half double crochet so total I have one two three four five six seven half double crochet stitches and a chain between each one. So I've created these little spaces here. For row three, we will chain one again, turn our work, and now we can start to do the feather stitch. The first thing you'll do on every single row is a half double crochet stitch in the very first space, not the chain one space in the first stitch. Okay, now we can start to do our first feather stitch. For feather stitch, you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space from the previous row, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, and you wanna make sure that all your loops are about the same height. Yarn over, insert my hook into the skipped half double crochet from row one. Yarn over, pull up a loop, one, two, three, four, five loops on my hook, yarn over, insert into the next chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, seven loops on my hook total, yarn over one last time and pull through all seven loops. Then you'll chain one to close it. And that is my first feather stitch. For my next feather stitch, I'll yarn over, insert back into the chain space I just was in, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, insert into the skipped half double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on my hook, yarn over, insert into the next chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, seven loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all seven loops, and then chain one to close. I'm gonna do this all the way across. Don't forget to put your first loop in the same chain space that you just finished in. and to try your best to make your loops as consistent as possible. All 
All right, I have just done my last feather stitch. At this point, you should have five feather stitches total. And to end the row, I'm gonna place a half double crochet in the last stitch. You will end every row this way. So you've got a half double crochet at the beginning, five feather stitches and a half double crochet at the end. And that completes row three. For row four and each row after, you'll chain one, turn your work, half double crochet in the first stitch, and then begin feather stitch in your first chain space. In the chain space from the previous row, and in the next chain space on the current row. Pull through all seven loops, chain one, and repeat. Yarn over in the current chain space, in the one right below it, and in the next space. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one. And I'll do this all the way across. If you're having trouble finding the space from the previous row, you may wanna size up your hook while you're practicing and do your stitches just a bit looser so it's easier to see. I've done mine nice and loose here so you can see exactly where you're supposed to put your hook for the second yarn over. And you will have five feather stitches on every single row. So if you have more or less than five, you know you have gone astray. So I've got four here, so I need one more. And my last loop here for this last feather stitch is gonna go in the chain space between the feather stitch and the half double crochet from the previous row. It's a little tighter there, so it can be tough to see. And pull through all seven loops, chain one, and then half double crochet in the very last stitch. You'll continue this pattern until you have the height that you want. And then to complete, you'll wanna make your other end look the same as your beginning. So you'll complete your swatch with half double crochets. To do that, you'll yarn over and do two half double crochets in each chain one space. for a total of 13 half double crochets. So there'll just be one half double crochet in the last stitch. So right here in between my feather stitch and my last half double crochet. Okay, so I've got 12 and I'll do one more here in the last space. And now I've got ends that are identical. And that's how you do the traditional version of feather stitch. Now we'll discover how to feather stitch in the round. This particular pattern is by Daily Crochet Co. I will link it in the description below. It makes a really cute ornament. I've made a ton of these in different colors. So this particular method for a feather stitch is more alternative. You might not have seen it before, but I find it works really well when you want a closed center and you wanna stack those feather stitches to create a circle. I'm gonna start with a magic circle. If you're not familiar with this method, I have a tutorial on my channel. I will link it above. I'm gonna go a little quick just for the sake of time. If you don't enjoy doing magic circles, you can also chain three and slip stitch your ends together to create a circle. I'll chain three, which will count as my first stitch. And I'm gonna double crochet into my ring 11 more times for a total of 12 stitches, including my chain three. Okay, I've got my 12 double crochets in my ring. I'm gonna pull it closed. 
and I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of my chain three. This will be the base. And now we need to do our prep row. The prep row for this one is just a bit different. I'm gonna chain two and this is gonna count as my first half double crochet and my chain one. I'm gonna half double crochet in the very next stitch, chain one, and half double crochet in the very next stitch. You do not skip stitches when you're working in the round. The reason you don't skip stitches when you're working in the round is so that your work will still lie flat. If you skip stitches, you won't have enough and it will cup upwards. So you should have 12 half double crochets and 12 chain ones for a total of 24 stitches. I've done my last half double crochet and chain one. And to close, I'm gonna slip stitch into this chain two space from the beginning of my round. Okay, and I will chain one. And now I can start to do my first feather stitch. I'll yarn over, insert my hook into my chain space here, yarn over. And the difference here is that you're gonna place your next stitch in the half double crochet directly below because there aren't any skip stitches you're going to have to place them here instead. Yarn over and into the next chain space. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one to close. Now we can continue around. So yarn over, back into the chain space I was just in. Yarn over into the base of the half double crochet from the previous row. Yarn over and into the next chain space. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one. I'll continue to do this all the way around and then I will show you how to close. I've done nine feather stitches and I'm on my last stitch. There should be 10 total. I'm gonna show you really nice and slow because this last one is a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the same chain space I was just in, yarn over, and insert my hook in the slip stitch from the previous row. Yarn over and insert my hook in the chain one that I started the round with. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. stuck here. There we go. Chain one. And I'm going to slip stitch my round together in the space right next to that chain one. So it's not the top of your feather stitch. It's right next to it. And that completes round one. And I've got 10 feather stitches around. At this point, I like to flip my work out the opposite way. It's a little bit easier to work this way. Chain one to begin round three. Yarn over and insert my hook into the chain space right below. Yarn over and into the space right below it. Yarn over and into the next chain one space. Yarn over and pull through all my loops and chain one. So just like in the traditional method, you go into the chain space that you were just in in the one right below it and in the one right to the left. And I'll continue this all the way around. There should be a total of 10 feather stitches in each round. 
For the last feather stitch of this round, it's a bit easier to see what you're doing. So I'm gonna do a yarn over and in the chain space I just was in, yarn over into the space right below it, yarn over and in the chain one space of the last feather stitch from the previous row. Yarn over and pull through all seven, chain one, skip the chain one and go into the stitch right next to it, right beside the top of your feather stitch and slip stitch to close. Your close should look like this. You can see those feather stitches are starting to stack on top of each other. For feather stitch, there is not a pretty way to increase and decrease as far as I know. So you can stack them as high as you want. This is great for cozies, um, ornaments, things like that. Um, if you wanted to do a flat circle, you may wanna choose a different stitch. And again, if you wanna continue on to create an ornament, you can check out Daily Crochet Co. Their pattern right below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. It helps me continue teaching crochet the easy way like I did today. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.